Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. This summer I am launching a summer success series for my team. Each week we're going to have a different topic to cover and each week we're going to have a challenge. But then I was thinking I should share some of it with all of you guys. So this is my very first week of our summer success series. Stay tuned if you want to learn more about how you can grow your business this summer. Okay, we're going to get going and keep it moving with an accountability partner or a group. That sounds great, right? Wait, Jessica, what's an accountability partner? Accountability partners are two or more influencers that choose to work together with the ultimate goal of raising their level of activity, right? Moving their business forward with a purpose. You guys, we know that doing things with friends makes things better, right? A relationship with an accountability partner or group can really relight your passion and help you keep moving. The fact that you're working with a group of people that you're not directly connected to monetarily means that it opens up the door for you to be totally you, open and authentic. Okay, Jessica, again, that sounds great, but like, how do I even find somebody? Don't worry, I've got you covered with some of the best practices for starting and maintaining a healthy and effective accountability partnership. Now, in my team group, I've started a thread for everybody to post their personal ad, right? <laughs> Just a little bit about them, their current rank, and what they want out of this business. Maybe even a little bit about their availability. So if you've got a team of your own or you're looking to plug in with somebody from your team, post a personal ad. Tell them a little bit about you and your goals and what your availability looks like. So that way you can match up your schedules to have calls moving forward. I actually recommend finding a buddy or buddies that aren't in your upline or downline. That way, again, you have no connection monetarily and you can really just share openly. The only common interest among your accountability buddies is your shared success. Okay, Jessica, I've got my buddy or buddies. Now what do I do? Here's how the logistics work. Each week you want to schedule a call or a Zoom so that you can connect. And I recommend making that a regular schedule. So every single week you're always talking on Wednesday evenings or always talking on Thursday mornings. That way it becomes part of your routine. These calls are only about 20 or 30 minutes long. Remember, this is about accountability. So you want to make sure you're scheduling them when you are sure that you're going to show up and keep the schedule. You want to be on time. You want to come prepared. You want to put these calendars on calendars. You want to put these calls on your calendar for the duration of the summer. That's keeping you guys accountable. Now you want to take an oath together, right? You're going to set boundaries so that you know exactly what you're working with and you're going to be honest about your time commitment, your level of activity, and keeping everything that you talk about with your accountability buddies confidential, right? Agree that at any time if the relationship isn't working out that you guys can end it and there's no drama or judgment or any of that nonsense. <laughs> okay, but remember we're taking an oath and in your oath, I want you to commit to keeping the complaining to a minimum or slash nothing, right? Because complaining isn't going to help any of us. You really want these calls to be productive and exciting and really fill up your love tank, your business love tank. <laughs> okay, Jessica, I've got my accountability buddy. We've got a schedule. How does our call go? Don't worry, I've got you covered again. Here's how your call should kind of flow. First of all, I want you to start the call with a recent win. Did somebody join your team? Did you make a surprise sale? Did you book a party? I want you to each share a win, no matter how big or small, open up the call on a positive note with your win. Likewise, if there's something that's heavy on your shoulders or something frustrating going on, let's just get that right out of the way in the beginning of the call and put a maximum timer on for two minutes, right? Because we're not wasting negative time. We're not wasting our time talking about negative energy stuff. Okay, we've talked about our win. We've got things off our shoulders. Next thing you're going to do is talk about your top two leads for recruits. After you've talked about your leads for recruits, you're going to talk about exactly what you're going to do with those leads moving forward, right? Together, you're going to come up with action steps that moves everything along in the process. Next up, you're going to talk about your top three leads for new customers. Did you recently send out samples or did you recently receive a sample request? What action steps are you going to take to move those along in the sales process? Write it down and talk about it with your accountability buddy. Then I want you to choose one part of your business that you want to work on being better about. 
Is your follow-up system a little messy? Do you always have sample packets ready to go when you go out and about in the world? Are you making an effort to connect with your team regularly? Some kind of aspect of your business that you want to improve upon. Talk about it with your accountability group. Then we're gonna share our goals moving forward. What are our goals that we're going to accomplish in the next week before our next call? And lastly, I want you to end on a positive note. So maybe discuss what you're doing for current um, continuing education, or a quote that you saw that has really stuck with you, or a song that you heard. I want you to share something positive that has really made an impact on you with your group so that it could potentially impact them positively as well. The idea is to come to each call having met your declared action steps from the previous call. That's where we get the word accountability, right? The idea is to hold each other accountable professionally and without judgment. There are so many benefits for working with an accountability partner or group, but mostly you have the chance to inspire each other by sharing your desire, your courage, your action, and your enthusiasm, right? What's more, by tracking the action steps you take, you increase your momentum and grow your businesses. Now, be sure that you're subscribed because next week is week two of our summer success series and I'll be back with some more tips and some ideas for you to grow your business. I hope you have a great day.